Um, we've heard a lot about uh, these kind of uh, fantastic, uh, in, how you immersed yourself in the part. You weren't kind of, I know you don't like the word method, but there was, there was elements of that. Is it difficult to do that when other people on a cast aren't doing it? Like, is it, I imagine it's maybe a bit like that anxiety dream where you turn up to a, a party in fancy dress and no one else has done. Is it yeah. a bit like that? Uh, it's, it's not exactly. For this film, it was kind of easy because my work was all with um, Harley, Margot. So it was contained, it was isolated from the rest of the cast, um, but it did set up a, a dynamic and uh, with the other characters because they're all in the squad and the Joker is kind of on the outside. So I was isolated, they really bonded, and I was off in you know, the, the corner uh, uh, of the cafeteria kind of watching all the other kids have a good time in a way. Obviously this is a music magazine. Um, it struck me that the Joker is probably the most punk rock of all superhero villains. And uh, I wondered if you kind of channeled any musicians, rock stars, rappers, anyone, when you were kind of formulating your character. I, you know, I spoke to a writer who, uh, and we, we discussed uh, David Bowie a bit not necessarily the music of David, but uh, his, his class, his elegance, his timelessness. Uh, he this was a, I don't want to, you know, um, uh, say who the guy was, but he's a famous writer in the world of uh, DC. Right. Um, uh, but he, but Bowie was, was definitely one of the people we spoke about. Um, and uh, I think David Bowie is probably an inspiration for like almost anything you could do yeah. uh, creatively. Yeah. Um, the Joker's origin story is quite unclear in the in the comics and the TV series. Did you kind of decide how he became the Joker in order to to inhabit that character? Yeah, you kind you you make if if it's not there generally, uh, you make something up so you have a sense of where you came from because you never know some of the. You just ask a lot of questions in preparation. You know, where was I from? What happened? So what uh, is your theory? Uh, how much time do we have? It's, 10 seconds. It's, I don't think that's <laughs> gonna happen, but uh, you know, you do those things in hopes that it answers some kind of question or provides some information or psychology so that when you do a scene, it informs that, you know? Uh, just like writing a piece, you might do a ton of research and maybe some of it doesn't end up in the article, but it informs maybe a question you might ask or something. I think one thing I thought and a lot of people thought is that there wasn't quite enough Joker in it. Uh, we, we used to see superheroes get their own films. Do you think it's time that a supervillain was the star of a film and will you, would you like to kind of play the Joker as a standalone film? Well, I'll answer uh, in reverse. Yes, I think that would be great to dive in deeper to the Joker and expand uh, the story and to learn a bit more about this sick and twisted but lovely uh, strange man. Uh, and, and, and yes, uh, I'd like to see a little more Joker and Suicide Squad too. We shot so much footage. There are so many scenes that are not in the film uh, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know exactly what's been cut out or not, but I do understand it's, you know, it's a, it's a bit of an introduction to the Joker now. It's a bit more of a supporting uh, part uh, than maybe it, it could have been if they used everything, but they have a method to their madness. Um, so that's essentially a confirmation that you will come back as the Joker and, and fill it in. I don't know. I mean, it really depends on the response. I think if people respond to this Joker and if they have a good time uh, with with this version of the Joker, then then I could imagine him coming back. Uh, but if not, I'll just go live in a fucking cave somewhere. <laughs> have you looked at the response to the film so far? I've heard that there's been a very mixed response. Um, y you know, it, it's easy to, to hear that. Uh, but I'm in, you know, I haven't seen the film, and, I, and I'm in the film so little, that that's all kind of has, you know, there's, that's really has not very much to do um, with me and what I'm doing now, like talking and sharing the film and stuff. So, um, it, it struck me that you were probably working on your next album while oh, you were yeah. getting into the character. 
is he coming out in the lyrics at all? Is, he, is this a, you know, is there a dark, twisted aspect to the next album? I, that we I, I think before? I've had enough dark and twisted <laughs> with Thirty Seconds to Mars over the years. I don't, I don't, I don't need any um, like Joker input. Uh, <laughs> we've kind of gone through our dark and twisted period. Uh, uh, we're more in, more in the like kind of aspirational, uh, uh, self-reflective period or something. I don't know. Uh, but we are working on our fifth album right now, and uh, we've written probably, I think, 40 or 50 songs, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to being finished. I always want to put an album out sooner. You know, I, every time I make an album, I go on tour, I say, I'm going to put it out, uh, make an album fast this time, you know, in a year or two, but it always takes me like four years. I'm just so slow. So, uh, you know, the fans are desperate to know what the next album's like. What can you tell them in terms of a few It's minutes? very, very different. I mean, I think our last album was, was uh, maybe a, a bridge between where we were and where we are now. And uh, it's a very, very different album. Uh, and I think that's exciting. Every time you make an album, every time you write a song, you have the ability to kind of redefine, reimagine, and to experiment and take chances. and. I'm a big believer that it's okay to let go of your past uh, and to to move forward and explore new territory. So that that's what we're doing. So sum up the sound in three words then, just to, to excite people. Um, I I think probably. Uh, oh God, I'm so bad at the <laughs> three word thing. Uh, but it's 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 very uh, sexual. What a that's, great way to leave it. That's three syllables, not three words, but it'll have to do.